Hi, Kate. Welcome to our six simple questions. Um, would you mind introducing yourself? Not at all, Simon. Thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Kate Brannigan. Um, I will tell you a little bit more about the company that I work for in a moment when Simon asks me. Right. Right. Well, straight into it. Uh, uh, for, as long as we've known each other, it's been Brannigan Floorings. But I want to hear more about Ascensive today and, and how you got into it and what, what you're actually doing. Well, how I got into Ascensive was through Brannigan Flooring. Um, I sat the Ascensive course as part of my role in Brannigan Flooring and realised that it was a really, really good um, learning experience, put it into practice in the flooring company, and I thought, I want to be able to deliver this to people. Right. spoke to the guy who trained me, and he said, well, there's a training course to train people on how to deliver Ascensive if you want to do it. I went, yes, please. So I went and did it, and that's how I got into Ascensive, because it, if it, it works for the flooring company, it can work for anybody. Right, right. And t yeah. Tell us a bit more about Ascensive, because a lot of people go, well, what is it? So, <laughs> Ascensive, it was originally called the Referral Institute, and it was set up about, oh, I'm guessing, 18 years ago by Ivan Meisner, who founded BNI. Right. And Ivan went to the board of uh, directors of BNI and said, I want to do this. And they came back and said, no, we're a referral organization, not a training organization. So Ivan then set up a referral institute with Mike Macedonia and um, to train people on how to get better referrals, build relationships. So it's a bit like advanced level BNI or right. um, BNI is like going to college and Ascensive is like going and doing a master's degree. That's the sort of differential. Um, so that's where Ascensive started. And it changed its name in, I think it was about three or four years ago to Ascensive. Reason being is when it first started, it was in mainly in America. It's now global. Um, but they called it the Referral Institute because they thought that would appeal to the American public um, as it sounded so British, right. which I think the Referral Institute does. Um, right. So they came, they had a think tank, came up with um, the name Ascensive, which means nothing in any language whatsoever in the world, so it can't offend anybody. Um, right. I like to think it's a mixture of ascend and incentivize, yeah. um, because it helps you grow, and that's my thoughts on it anyway. Brilliant, brilliant. So, you know, at the Business Network, we always ask for some personal things about people, so we get to know each, each other better. So hobbies pastimes passions what do you do in your spare time <laughs> spare time <laughs> yeah. um my passions are really um networking and helping people um which is one reason why i love doing offensive because it, it's it's there to help everybody um my other passion are my dogs um i've got two rescue dogs at the moment um one may well bark if anybody uh, knocks on the door um but I love dogs, always have done. I enjoy rock music. Hopefully going to a festival in the summer if it doesn't get cancelled. It's Fingers still on at the moment, yeah. but we shall see. That's yeah. what I do in my spare time. I know a lot of people have said, what spare time? What do you mean? So, uh, yeah. so um, I listen to a few podcasts. What we were asking for is, is any referral to any podcast you listen to at the moment? Um, yeah, um, I listen to a few actually. Um, there's a, a TED Talks Daily podcast and they can be anything from six minutes long to an hour long. So it just depends on whether you want to listen to it. If you've got an hour spare while you're driving somewhere, which you wouldn't be doing at the moment. Um, so some of them I don't listen to because I think, no, I've not got an hour to spare to listen to that. Yeah. Subject matter doesn't interest me. Um, there's also Mindful Meditations, which again is another daily podcast. And another one that I listen to not frequently um, is called Dark Coffee. Uh, it's a, um, by a lady called Alice Lyons, and it's, it's all about mental health and coping with your mental health, which I think in this moment in time is quite applicable yeah. to most people. I thought when you said that, I've heard that name. Yes, I know Alice. I know Alice. Yeah. Um, and while we've all got a little bit more time in our hands, what about a book? Can you recommend a book for us to read? I can, I can recommend a book. I've just, well, I say it just about a month ago, I finished rereading for the third time, The Chimp Paradox um, by Stephen Peters, which 
it's very interesting and each time you read it you pick up something new and I've just got and I'm gonna to have to look because I can't remember what it was called I've just got what's it called stay safe no it's not that's something else um rewire your mind by Dr Shapiro right um okay. which I downloaded on audible two weeks ago so I'm just about to start that don't know what it's about it just sounded intriguing Brilliant, brilliant. And and finally, obviously we're in interesting times at the moment. What words of wisdom have you got for uh, the people who are going to watch this? Um, well, my favourite phrase is every day is a school day. And I think even more so now because people have got more time. Don't waste it. Yeah. Don't, yeah. It's, it'd be so easy to slip into a funk and yeah. do nothing. And I think it's important not to. For your own yeah. mental health yeah i think you i think you're spot on there i think um you know it, uh, you realize how precious time uh, time is isn't it yeah. you know so uh, yeah yeah but that, that's brilliant thank you so much for that kate so you're very welcome uh, we'll thank be you for out on me. social media um promoting it so uh no thank you so much bye thanks bye <laughs>